when you go to a marathon, oh, you're, you're talking about people, children, mothers, fathers, going on to root on their loved ones, and it's a joyous occasion. You know, people don't expect something like this to happen. And the fact that people all rallied around the way that they did, you know, was, was really incredible. What people were doing for each other um, right after the bombings, uh, without knowing if there were any more bombs that were going to go off. Um, regular people, the great first responders, cops, EMTs, firemen, of course, but just regular people um, rolling up their sleeves, taking off their shirts, making tourniquets. Such respect and admiration for the first responders, uh, again, not just the police officers, the paramedics, the firefighters, the nurses, the doctors, uh, and, and, and just the random citizens, you know, the, the people who just happen to be there and who, you know, have the humanity and the capability to respond in the right way and, uh, and to save lives. I was actually in New York when, when the marathon uh, bombings happened and I remember paying very close attention to it um, and being um, very, very aware and very touched by how the city clearly came together. Uh, and, and rallied together to, to, uh, to capture these two criminals, uh, but also to support uh, themselves so much after the bombings. And I was very touched um, by how that community came together. I was so impressed with his commitment to getting it right and to, to, being, to doing right by the victims that uh, I, uh, I signed on to it. This is, this is one of the big reasons why I wanted to do it, just the spirit of Boston and, uh, right. and to do right by the victims and the people who were hurt. I think an important point of this movie is to show that heroes come in all forms and anybody could become a hero. This country really is a strong, powerful, resilient country. And when need be, even though we have so many different points of views, so many different religions and way of thinking that when we need to, when we have to, we do come together, we do um, join hands and fight together and say, you know what, this, this we will not accept. Love wins. And when you talk to um, the survivors, um, you know, many of whom have, you know, have had amputations, have suffered brain injuries, um, you know, are permanently scarred by this event, and, and, and uh, you ask them, you know, what, what's the takeaway? Is, is it possible to have some you know, ability to contextualize this horrific experience? And almost all of them said, love.